the IUL stands for Index Universal Life. It has two simple rules. It has a cash value saving side to it, and it has a debt benefit. Okay. The cash value savings is money we can use while we're still alive for whatever we please. Some people say, one day I want to purchase a home. All right, perfect. Let's save up to purchase a home. One day I want to travel. Hey, let's use it for traveling purposes. I want to send my, my kids to school. Okay. Let's save up for their college. I tell them, I want to make sure you also save money for retirement. Because one day we'll need it. This is long-term savings. Typically... 10 years plus in the future, we start taking money out, it's tax free. And I'll explain to you how that works. The debt benefit side, money for our families. God forbid you pass away tomorrow. What do we tend to leave behind nowadays? Yes, you're correct. Bills and debts. Because even a simple funeral costs ten or thirty thousand dollars. That's what we see a lot of families doing car washes, donations, GoFundMe accounts. That's the last thing we want to see our families doing. As agents, we educate families how to make sure we enrich families not impoverish them through life insurance, leave them a legacy behind. So this is life insurance. Now, the debt benefits money, the life insurance, we can also use it while we're still alive to do something called living, living benefits, okay? What does that mean? It means, God forbid, somebody gets something terminal, a terminal illness, like cancer, something of that nature, something critical like a brain seizure, heart attack, stroke, anything of that nature and beyond, we can use the life insurance money. We can cash it out for medical expenses, medical treatments, etc. Now, the savings side of the policy, for example, our interest is growing every single year, reflecting the S&P 500. If you're not familiar with it, it stands for Standard & Poor. It's the top 100 companies in the stock market. Big companies like Nike, Adidas, Walmart, multi-billionaire companies. Our money reflects this growth every single year with interest. These accounts are growing like an index strategy, like a staircase. Every step of the way, they're growing. If the stock market crashes, the beautiful thing about these accounts, our money locks in every step of the way, so there's no losses. Okay? These accounts have the potential to grow up to a 12% cap on a yearly basis. If the stock market crashes tomorrow and money locks in, no losses for everybody wants. I like to see these accounts as an analogy, an analogy of a candy. If I have this candy and I accidentally drop it on the floor, what, what's gonna, what protects the candy from getting dirty? The wrapper. So the wrapper, I see it as a debt benefit. The insurance. Because a lot of states, it's about money tied up to insurance, savings and insurance, two in one. When it comes down to the uh, IRS, or the government, they simply can't touch it. Why? Because we like to see the IRS like the eye in the sky. They're watching everything we do. They're looking at our accounts because they wanna see how much money we have saved up inside. But all they can see when they look at it, it's the wrapper. What's the wrapper? Insurance money. That's why in the future when we take our money out, the beautiful thing about something like this, tax free. So everybody wants. Thank you.